Jerry Steffen with Roger Johnson of Certified Financial Group, and we're here to discuss surviving today's challenging economy. Hey, Roger. Hey, Jerry. Well, we've uh, got a discussion going on right now about counting down to retirement. Now, given the economy over the past year, a lot of people have a question about the losses in the market. Now, how can they be sure they have enough money for retirement? Well, good, good question. Um, every year is important. However, we save for retirement for more than 40 years. Um, and, and one year is a small portion of that. So uh, we want to make some adjustments in our plan, possibly, but we don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, as the phrase goes. The typical average mutual fund averages about 11% a year. However, studies have shown that the average mutual fund investor only gets about 4% a year because they're in and out at the wrong times and human nature kicks in and, and gets them off on the wrong track. So uh, it's really important to uh, get a plan and work the plan and uh, make some adjustments along the way. So what's the difference between being in retirement and close to retirement? Well, uh, before retirement, it's funny. We work and we save. Once we get to retirement, we do the exact opposite. We're not working and we're having to spend. So there may be some major differences between retirement, just before retirement and after retirement, but, uh, and there may be some uh, very little adjustments because of this. When you retire, you don't always have to draw from your investments as an income. You may have, uh, and I have many clients that retire and they know they're not gonna touch their money for a number of years. So that type of portfolio may be different than one that starts retirement and immediately needs a check. So uh, it's, it's real important to get a plan. Uh, Pre-retirement, uh, there's a transition phase uh, that a pre-retiree should be in, okay? But, uh, and, and that's a, between the accumulation phase and the distribution phase. And it's important to distinguish the two. Uh, but it's most important uh, that the distribution phase is handled right because you really only get one chance at that. So there's some good strategies and techniques that can be done during that period of time. Uh, and uh, what we do, we plan around the client's needs. Okay, the economy is a major threat to retirement, but are there other threats? Yeah, sure, there's lots of them. And uh, I cover a lot of them at my uh, Countdown to Retirement workshop, but I'll talk about a couple of them right now. Uh, one of them is uh, just worried about running out of money. So what, what could go wrong? Medical expenses, maybe withdrawal rate is too high, maybe your returns on your investments aren't uh, performing well. Uh, and, uh, but the big ones are things like inflation. Okay, there's inflation. Now, the good thing is that we can predict that. And we know that there's going to be inflation year after year. And we can work that into your planning, your financial plan. Uh, one of the biggest threats to retirement nest egg is long-term care needs. You may, uh, long -term, when I say long-term care, I mean nursing home, assisted living, those kind of expenses that can happen later on in life. Um, those are hard to uh, plan for because some clients pass away in their sleep in their 90s and they never needed any care at all. However, some folks go into a nursing home maybe in their 70s or need assisted living. So these can be very expensive and I always suggest for a client to look at insuring against that threat. So the idea of getting back to basics sounds good, but really is it enough? Back to basics means getting a plan. Uh, you need to make good assumptions. You don't want to be too high. You want to be too low in your assumptions. And you want to implement the plan. It's very important. You, you, two frogs on a log. One decides to jump. How many frogs are left? There's still two. Because he, never he only decided to jump. He never did jump. So you have to really implement the plan mm -hmm. and monitor it over time. Uh, and, and make some adjustments. You can expect setbacks along the way, just like the market is right now. That's a setback. But my successful investors look at this as maybe a cleansing process or a buying opportunity. So they should be fine. Uh, make slight adjustments along the way. And uh, a good financial advisor is going to keep you out of the ditches and keep you on track. So Roger, what is the smartest thing someone can do if they're uncertain about their financial future? Well, if they're uncertain, they need to get some help, get a second opinion. Uh, folks need to not go it alone. Now, a lot of folks do decide to go it alone. However, there's a major learning curve with investment management, and unfortunately, mistakes get made 
when someone's in the learning process. So may we get a professional advisor and uh, speak with them, get them on, uh, on track. Uh, we don't want human nature to kick in uh, and, and get into problems there. Uh, some folks go it alone, but um, does your spouse want to go it alone? That's a good question to ask yourself. Um, it's good to have a trusted advisor. Uh, even the Lone Ranger had Tano. Thank you, Roger Johnson of Certified Financial Group. If you'd like more information or a complimentary consultation, visit financialgroup.com.